Hey brothers and sisters. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful spring day even though it's windy. And um, I haven't planted any flowers because I expect to be leaving, but I did buy me some flowers. Um, I normally really get into uh, doing a little bit of gardening. And just to show you just how beautiful the green leaves are and the beauty of the trees. I, I mean, I'm just so incredibly blessed. I'm so incredibly blessed to see, you know, spring and baby birds being, I have a, um, I have a bluebird nest. I'm going to show you all some pictures of what happened, but I ended up, um, I ended up being, um, taking a picture inside my bluebird nest and I have five, on my front nest I have five blue, um, bluebird eggs. They're gorgeous. And then on the back, I took a picture and didn't realize that Mama Bird was sitting there. And so I had the camera like two inches above her head. Anyway, um, Saturday, a lot of stuff went on. And I'm probably going to do a longer video about that. But God woke me up and he said, tell them about my mighty hand. And uh, he does have a mighty hand. He is mighty to save. He is mighty to take us up in the rapture. And uh, we who are redeemed, we have nothing to fear. We are all looking forward for the soon return of Jesus. So then this morning, I was singing the song, Redeemed How I Love to Proclaim It. I'm going to try to sing it now um, because after I was singing it and I came downstairs, the time was 1022, um, which made me think of Hebrews 1022 through the end of the chapter, which is really important. Um, but then I opened up to Psalm 107, which has, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faithful love endures forever. Has the Lord redeemed you? Then speak out. Tell others He has redeemed you from your enemies. Okay, so the uh, song is, Redeemed how I love to proclaim it, Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed through His infinite mercy, His child and forever I am. Redeemed, redeemed, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed, redeemed, His child and forever I am. Redeemed and so happy in Jesus, no language my rapture can tell. I know that the light of His presence with me doth continually dwell. Redeemed, redeemed, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed, redeemed, His child and forever I am. I think of my blessed Redeemer, I think of Him all the day long. I sing, for I cannot be silent. His love is the theme of my song. I know I shall see in His beauty the King in whose way I delight, who lovingly guardeth my footsteps and giveth me songs in the night. Redeemed, redeemed, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed, redeemed. His child and forever I am. So isn't that interesting that the lyrics to the song, which I didn't really remember them other than the first verse, fits with Psalm 107. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Has the Lord redeemed you? Then speak out. Tell others he has redeemed you from your enemies. I have written in that God sent for us, that he sent for us. He has gathered the exiles from many lands, from east and west, from north and south. He's gathered the exiles. <laughs> Some wandered in the wilderness, lost and homeless, hungry and thirsty. They nearly died. Lord, help, they cried in their trouble, and he rescued them from their distress. He led them straight to safety, to a city where they could live, like a city in heaven, a city on a hill. Let them praise the Lord for his great love and for the wonderful things he has done for them. 
for he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Some sat in darkness and deepest gloom, imprisoned in chains of misery. They rebelled against the words of God, scorning the counsel of the Most High. That is why he broke them with hard labor. They fell, and no one was there to help them. Lord, help, they cried in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He led them from the dark darkness and deepest gloom. He snapped their chains. Let them praise the Lord for his great love and for the wonderful things he has done for them. For he broke down their prison gates of bronze. He cut apart their bars of iron. Some were fools. They rebelled and suffered for their sins. They couldn't stand the thought of food, and they were knocking on death's door. Hello, I was suicidal. <laughs> oh, thank you, God. Lord, help, they cried in their trouble. And he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them, snatching them from the door of death. Let them praise the Lord for his great love and for the wonderful things he has done for them. Let them offer sacrifices of thanksgiving and sing joyfully about his glorious acts. Some went off to sea in ships, plying the trade routes of the world. They too observed the Lord's power in action, his impressive works on the deepest seas. He spoke and the winds rose, stirring up the waves. Their ships were tossed into the heavens and plunged again into the depths, and sailors cringed in terror. They reeled and staggered like drunkards and were at their wits' end. Lord, help! they cried in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He calmed the storm to a whisper and stilled the waves. That's Jesus. What a blessing was that stillness as he brought them safely into harbor. We have nothing to fear. Let them praise the Lord for his great love and for the wonderful things he has done for them. Let them exalt him publicly before the congregation and before the leaders of the nation. Uh, and then at the end, the godly will see these things and be glad while the wicked are struck silent. Those who are wise will take all this to heart. They will see in our history the faithful love of the Lord. Great is thy faithfulness, O God our Father. Okay, sing that song. <laughs> you know, basically, it's time to be fighting for fighting for your joy, singing praises, and, and just keeping yourself in a, in a joyful, happy mood. Um, you know, we know, what, we know the bad things that are coming, but we, we are children of the light just to focus on the light of God and to, and to praise Him in the tiniest details. He made us have eyes to see and ears to hear and hearts that are no longer stony and stubborn doing our will, but hearts that are turned towards Him. Uh, hearts of flesh that want to obey Him and love Him and look for His glorious appearing. I hope you are encouraged today, and uh, I, I'm really excited to be able to see you all soon in heaven. God bless you. Bye-bye.